Hi, welcome to the Simple Workshop. Today we're going to be working on a butterfly house. Okay, gotta square up our edges. Everything's gonna be square, it's gonna be scrap plywood. Alright, take our front guy and we're gonna make our 45 our peak for our roof. So all I would have to do is find the center of the board, which is three inches. Three inches. And if you wanted to, to help you out, three inches down this way. And, that way, and make it three five. Do that to make my roof thing. Figure out which one you want for your front. And you have to make it three quarters of an inch measurement in, just as a reference on both sides. That way that's your, your inner wall would be there. Figure out where we want to put our butterfly slots. So an inch in, so we'll go an inch and a half. right down the center. the same. We'll come up about an inch and a half on this one. Total of three on that one. And we'll do four and a half on that one. And we'll make them each a uh, three inch long slot. So seven and a half to the top of the hole. Six inches to the top of the hole. small bit to get me started evenly. Then I'm going to increase to a half inch bit. So these are like a half inch slot. And that's what we're after. 
I'm going to finish that up a little bit by filing them just a little bit because I do not like rough edges. for assembly. Okay, first off I'm going to use my nail gun again. You've seen it in one of my other videos. Okay, we already established this would be the front. We're going to start with the roof though. Now scrap wood, when you use plywood, uh, being the cheaper grade, you'll always see these little indents and cuts that everything wasn't full. What they are is knots when they glued everything together. But it's fine to have it. Let's just make sure we glue it on and nail it so nobody sees it. Set that to the side. Okay, now we already figured we were going to make them on the inside. Okay, now I have some little pieces of scrap wood here. We're just going to cut them off the sides and just kind of lay them in, maybe glue them in on the side a little bit. Nothing, I mean, we could throw them in crisscross. It's just something for the butterflies to hold on to and to hang from. You, know, you can glue them to the side, but there's no really rhyme or reason or pattern. It just gives them something to grab onto. If they wanted, they could grab onto the wall because this is more of a rough cut, rough cut wood that lay into and we'll glue one in the corner. Well, maybe we'll glue one along the back as well. There. Now we'll put the roof on. Just because to keep it even, I'll use that as a spacer for the back. And I can also use it as a gauge for my nail. Quick 
And I kind of like the rough look. It goes good in the garden. It is meant to put on a post and in between your flowers so the butter's got it. butterflies can find it easily. We'll give that a quick coat of paint so it's durable for the outside. Well, as I worked on the butterfly house here, I see made a couple things I don't like. I think my uh, slot should definitely be up a little bit higher because I don't think it's aesthetically pleasing. But uh, that's why they call it woodworking. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make our slots a little longer to make it a little better. Okay, after marking it out a little bit, I uh, figured I was going to make it one inch, one inch higher. That's why they call it woodworking and a wood perfection. Everything can be changed just a little bit. Well, now that we have our nice little butterfly house, we're going to need to have some way to uh, stand it up, put it on a pole. So we're just going to make a simple pole base. So I take standard two by four. Remember, our bottom was four and a half inches. So we'll do our measurements. I already have a line at two and a quarter. So four and a half here, and two and a quarter. I made a straight edge, and a two by four is three and a half wide, so inch and three quarter. And we're gonna drill a inch and an eighth hole for our piece of pipe. All right, now we have our hole drilled in the middle, our inch and an eighth hole. Now we're just gonna cut this at a 30 degree angle. Make it a little more pleasing. There, and there's our piece. Now we'll sand all the roughage off, off our piece. And with just a couple of screws, we can hold it on to the bottom. We're going to pre drill so we don't split the. Nice little candy dispenser.